Hi class, Mark 2, how to fix check supplies error. Follow these steps if an iClass Mark II printer shows a check supplies message on the screen. Be sure that the media is loaded through the media sensor and white line in the media sensor is positioned in the middle of the label slash notch. Print head notch is locked down fully and the printer correct sensor type is selected. Menu, media setting, media index type, then select the type. Press the feed button once and see if that clears the message. Should that not clear the error, continue to the next step. Do a sensor calibration of the media. Empty calibration. Open the printhead and remove the media labels from the media sensor. With the printhead open, press the pause and feed buttons at the same time. Keep them pressed for 6 seconds. Release both buttons and empty calibration complete should be shown on the screen. Quick calibration. Load the roll of media labels and check if it is fully inserted until it reaches the backstop. Route the media under the media idler through the media sensor and then straight out the front of the printer. Raise, then slide the media guide, green ground shape arm, over so that it rests lightly against the edge of the media. With the first label partially out, close the printer head. Press and hold the feed button for at least three complete labels and release. Calibration complete should be shown on the screen. If the quick calibration fails, the media sensor may be all the way to the left or the thermal transfer ribbon may fed through the media sensor. If this is not the case, proceed with a manual calibration. Manual calibration. Menu, media settings, sensor calibration, perform calibration, yes. Go through the calibration and see what the sensor reading numbers are. If getting 255 or 000, then the media sensors are not working and a repair would be needed, or if the numbers are between 001 and 254, that they're not changing, the media sensors may need to be cleaned with compressed air. Should that not clear the error and the sensor reading numbers are good, continue to the next step. Adjust the maximum label length. Please note that the printer may need to be set to advanced menu for all menu options to show. Menu, System Settings, Menu Mode, set to Advanced Menu. Maximum label length may be set incorrectly. The maximum label length setting should be at least three times what the label length is, whichever is greater. Menu, Media Settings, Maximum Label Length. Input the value, then exit out. Save Changes, Yes. Press the Feed button once or twice. Should that not clear the error, continue to the next step. Check the movement of the media when pressing the Feed button if it is media moving or if there is a grinding noise. If so, there could be a power issue, motor issue, or a platen roller is not pulling or gripping the media well. Look at the platen roller for wear. Bypass any power strips, surge suppressors, or battery backup devices and try again to see if the media movement is correct when pressing the feed button. If the motor does not seem to engage the media or grinding noise occurs, then the printer needs to be sent into service. Should this step not apply, continue to the next step. Set the printer back to factory defaults. Menu, System Settings, Set Factory Defaults, select Yes. Then go through again, making sure that the media is loaded correctly, media sensors are positioned correctly, and Set Printer is set to the correct sensor type. Then do a quick or manual calibration and press the feed button to see if the printer goes to a ready condition on the screen. Also be aware, should one press the feed button and the printer feeds the labels correctly and stays at the ready screen, that when printing from the software, then the printer shows a check supplies error. There is some bad command slash setting being sent to the printer, causing the check supplies error, sometimes setting the TOF sensing command to disabled. Menu, Communications, Post Setting, TOF Sensing Command, set to disabled. The printer may be able to ignore the software settings and not give check supplies error. If it is coming from the software, then the client may need to contact the software manufacturer or double check the driver page setup settings. Note, if the ribbon take-up reel is full, remove and rewrap existing ribbon on take-up reel and retest.